it was a response we wanted and it is a response we got hello hello guys welcome back to another video this is the football connect i'm your host sam do me a favor before you even go far click the like button subscribe to the connect as we are going to get, have a deep dive over the 4-2 win that liverpool just got in the hands of spurs at enfield as i think we can call it the revenge tour actually complete so it's gonna be an analysis of the revenge tour and we're gonna analyze what happened and how liverpool almost made it a game in the end it's exciting everything's gonna be explained here so like i said that like button subscribe let's go into it so liverpool after that two that two one loss to Tottenham Hotspurs around september october in that season i think it was a jala first defeat which was so controversial in terms of the decisions by the officials and everything that happened Liverpool, people always marked this day or this game on their calendar to hope to see at least the revenge that we wanted to see from Liverpool when it comes to Tottenham. Just that the problem is that it has come at the worst time for both teams' seasons in terms of how the fall down from the tackle from Liverpool just came about and also the fall down from Spurs, who seems like from the top four race is going down. Let me remind you where Spurs were. Around November, they were in the tackle race. Around January, February, they were now in the top four race. Now it seems like they are going to the Europa race. If things don't change right now, if they continue falling down the way they are, we could be talking about them in the Conference League or even out of European competition as it is. That is scary for a team that, let's face it, they went out of the to tournaments which were difficult for them. I'm talking about the FA Cup. I'm talking about the Carabao Cup. Earlier in the season, they were all out of those tournaments. They were not in European competition at all. And they didn't really have anything, really, to be honest. Their seasons has been like any regular team, even a team that is fighting to survive relegation, which is seven days a week, play another game. In some of the days where they played three, three games because of the schedules schedules that are will be a lot that happens it was never because this team was under pressure it was never because this team had so much to had had problems in terms of how the games were going this was a team that could actually achieve more than where they are now leading us to this is a team that it seemed like could achieve more could go far but now we are looking at this big Ange Postacoglu season, which started so well, which so many people have been calling out that this could be the manager who has been doing well, playing exciting football, doing everything that they want. It's all falling down and it's falling rapidly. And it's very, very funny that we are still here talking about it. And we still don't even have an idea how far these two teams, uh, this team is going to fall down because they have to play Man City in their last three games that are left. They still have some games to play. If they wanted any chance of being still in the top four race, they should have won at Anfield. The fact that they didn't means even that Aston Villa loss that they suffered in the ends of Brighton, that doesn't really mean a thing now. It is a problem and it's really, really crazy things that are happening right now. This is the revenge show that Liverpool wanted, but not actually as clean sweep as we thought it could have been. And um, let me tell you, it should have been. After the substitutions that Klopp made at, uh, let me look at, I think at 65 minutes, when we were still in the game after the substitution, allowing Tottenham Hotspurs to come back from that, it is really risky. Andy Robertson went out. We saw Wataru Endo going out for Steven Basic. By the way, happy that he got some minutes in the legs. This kid has been out for almost a season. And you can see that it's going to take time for him to get back to first team football. And I'm hoping that the preseason helps him to become the Steven Basic. We got to see that season where Firmino was the last season for Firmino and Fabino, Because, of course, he was out for the whole season. So the reason why I actually believe Liverpool lost concentration in the game was taking out the likes of Andy Robertson and Wataru Endo. Let me explain. Andy Robertson was a workaholic in that side. I think Gomez coming out, you could see that maybe confidence-wise it was lacking a bit, but Andy Robertson was a threat. He caused chaos. He was fighting to the very level best we expect him to do as Liverpool supporters. We wanted him and he showed what he's capable of doing, but 
you, you know you never really Klopp felt like he was tired and thought that he could change and that almost costed us because all the two goals came after he was out all the two goals came after what after what Aro Endo was out the one was been playing well with the DM role and I think they tried to drop if I'm not mistaken I think they tried to drop Oh, Steven Pasadi continued playing as a DM, but now because of how Tony Motspes had brought the likes of Madison, bringing out Rich Allison, he actually made this game a game. But all in all, let's not get this twisted. Let's not get this confused. This was a beat down. This was a beat down. I think this, if 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 it was possible, Tony Motspes should have waved a white flag in the game while it was still going because. They had nothing to respond. They were attacked from left to right. They were destroyed in each and every t moment. They were trying to create something. And they should have won the game. And it's really surprising that at the end of this now, we come and we talk about how the game actually drew, d derailed and it disappeared out of Liverpool, but managed to win it in the end. They should have destroyed this team by even more than four goals. Because... In terms of winning the balls, in terms of controlling, winning jewels, everything that matters in the game, Liverpool were a country mile ahead of Tottenham Hotspur. I remember in the first half after we had scored two goals, they were telling us that, oh, Liverpool, actually, Tottenham Hotspur only had a shot and Liverpool have been dominating the whole entire half. That tells you everything that you need to understand with the game because right now, even now, when I'm looking at the stats, Tottenham Hotspur only managed to have... Let's see, uh, Turner Motspurs only managed to have 11 shots, 6 shots on target. And most of those shots, I think almost all of those shots came in the second half. The first half, they had really nothing to offer. They tried to control the game. They were running so much. They tried to cause chaos because they know Liverpool always let goals in in the first half of the games. They have been doing this for so much in this season. And it was a different thing. It should have really been a different game. But anyway... We, we are going to be talking about everything that really happened in this game. So, there is a, a lot of things we can talk about how we can improve this Liverpool team. There is a lot of things we can see that just some few bits are missing. And I think it's a matter of time to work on and to make this team great again. I was really impressed by the fact that Klopp gave Elliot a chance to prove himself. Taking out one of the biggest players in Dominic Soboslai for the entire game, even Graven Bej, who has actually been performing so well, taking him out, putting Harvey Elliott, giving him the trust, saying that you are performing so well, you deserve a slot, get into the game, prove me right that it is the good thing that I'm doing to trust you. He came in into the game, played so well. Do in winning his jaws, fighting against that midfield of Tottenham Hotspur, making sure that he's fruitful and to even add more things. That goal, that goal that he scored, I'm telling you, it will be talked about for, you know, it might not win, but a contender for goal of the season. Maybe it could be goal of the month, I'm sure, but what a goal. That tells you how much these guys are doing. And Salah, with that crazy altercation that he had with Klopp at the West Ham ground, coming into the pitch, coming into the game, performing in this manner, showing that he can rise from his foes, he can prove that he can get back to that level. I'm really, really proud of what he did. And Cody Gakpo, how many times am I going to keep telling you that Cody Gakpo giving him that right wing is the best thing you can ever do? And to prove that he had a score, he scored a goal, even though it was a header, he scored a goal, proving that he's actually being fruitful in way in the position that club is actually making him play. Trent Alexander-Arnold again, being so, so pivotal in terms of creation, in terms of the forward passes, the distribution. And also today, I felt like Virgil van Dijk was really active in those re distribution as well. That tells you that, I'm telling you, this team is not very, very far off for being the perfect team. It's not really very far off from being the complete team that I expect Liverpool to be. So, I think because we know we are already out of the title race this season, we can build from this. We can take this as the... You know, the beginning of something special. The beginning of something that can even go far from what we are trying to do. Let's hope Anslot can come in and the few players that we need to help out in terms of what we want to create. I feel like today if we had Diaz was playing as a gunman, exchanging with Cody Gagpo and at some point with Salah, if we could have a number nine, a finisher, 
a finisher really because Darwin Nunes he, he's still a work in progress if we could have a finisher this team could be dangerous because we we went out of this title race not because we are not playing good football we went out of this title race because we are not finishing our chances our strike force was not taking the chances that they've been creating today they did today they stepped out today they showed that they had to Salah scored uh, Gagpo scored and we saw down uh, what's his name uh, Harvey Elliott scoring as well and the last one who am I forgetting the last player who scored is Andy Robertson scoring as well that just showed how much this team is really working there is so much we can get from this team and not only relying on our front three to score even the midfield got the opportunity to step up people are gonna say that is they've been playing with a weak spurs which is no longer even the space you expect them to be i get that not disagreeing it's all there we can see that there's something wrong with Tony Mott Spurs but we can see that Liverpool are a strong team and if our onslaught is the man that people are telling us to be is the man that every person that I'm opening the videos everything to listen to are giving so much respect for then it should make sense then we should see more from this team I don't know when I know your thoughts in the comment section talking about Tony Mott Spurs I feel like something has changed. Do you know that uh, there's that new manager bounce that we always get in each and every team? When Ange Postacoglu came in into this team, there was so much excitement. There was so much excitement over what, how far this team could be. So much excitement over what could be created, what they were working on. Son was scoring like a house on fire. Rich Allison was not really on cloud nine, but he was trying to do his best so much was happening from this team and people were excited over where they could go they played 10 games unbeaten 10 games unbeaten for Tottenham Hotspurs they were top of the league before everything went and started falling down I think that Madison injury was the turnaround of a lot of things for Tottenham Hotspurs or should I say that Chelsea defeat in fact that one that gave them to, to the red card for Romero and everything went all down down they suffocated from rising from that and we can still see that there are a lot of patches in this team they need to improve if you ask them how they lost today they told that they didn't have um oh, oh, oh what's his name this kid who's, who went out with injury the now the left back of Tottenham Spurs um let me know your thoughts in the comment section I forgot his name they will tell you that they didn't have that player but if you could see this this has been happening I think most of these players were playing out of their skin in the beginning of the season and now it seems like the fight for poster kogler the fight for highlands for life net seems like it has disappeared and now they are struggling now they're failing to even produce anything meaningful or anything tangible to be honest and because of that i feel like this is really much of a turnaround and i, I don't know they, they could work on they need to do some serious signings some players need to go some players have to come so that this becomes a different team so that we can see more from this team because what we have right now it's not working what they're giving us right now it's not working so there is a chance for them to create something meaningful there is a chance of them to actually try to develop that team but for now on i think the revenge tour of this season which liverpool have had since game number 10 or some nine for Tottenham Hotspur, it has been complete they've been embarrassed they've been destroyed whatever you're gonna say rich allison has always been a boogeyman for us and we have to work on that in the summer i think we need to get a defender who can help out in terms of defending who can help van dyke because at some point you feel like he is doing three or four people's jobs at once there is a lot of things that needs to be improved from my team and i know and slot he would do that i know that the most of the guys who have been signed in will do that we need a dm somebody who actually control that we need sort of like a rodri character who can come in perform stop everything or even a declan rice because look at how much one single signing can make a difference look at us now how far they've gone from where they were last season which is not really that far to be honest but you can see how much a star like that who a the player who who's, who's who knows how to control the stability the movement of the game and the, whatever that happens can impact 
in a team and we are seeing it clear here but i don't know people i've said my piece i want to know your thoughts in the comment section what did you think of liverpool versus Tottenham Hotspur's game did you think that it was exactly the revenge show that liverpool fans and everyone have been waiting for i want to know in the comment section and as well as click the like button as well i need to remind you this week Luton Town played against Everton. It finished 1 1. Arsenal beat Bournemouth by three goals to nil. Uh, Brentford drew with Fulham 0 0. And we saw full, uh, Newcastle beating Burnley by four goals to one. Sheffield United were beaten by three goals to one to Nottingham Forest, who seems like they're staying in the league. As well as Man City humbled Wolves by five goals to nil. One goal to nil to, um, Aston, to Brighton against Aston Villa. Five goals to nil to Chelsea beating West Ham and four goals to two. I'm curious what the West Ham Manchester United games will have because I think this has to be the highest scoring week of the Premier League. That's the reason why I'll be calling those numbers. So many goals have been scored this week. I don't know what's going to happen, people. It's not yet done. Tomorrow is there. United finishes the week. Do me a favor. That like button subscribe to the connect let me know where you're watching us from the best way you support us and let me hear what your assessment of today's game was like and what you saw and if it impressed you i'm out i've been sam see you on another one click the like button subscribe to the connect peace see me on the other side